All you have sent are erroneous assertions based on false assumptions. For example, I have no faith in atheism. Yes, you do have faith in atheism. And that is the reason that you did not respond to my arguments given against atheism. The molecules of DNA, RNA and proteins cannot form only with supply of energy. And if it was possible for them to get formed, then the amount of energy needed to be supplied would have been equivalent to spontaneous heating of water in a bathtub, up to 360 degree, something that is virtually impossible. Not only this, the molecules need to be in harmony with each other once they are formed, and they should not be destroyed. Thus there is no basis for atheism. These molecules were formed as a result of full planning by the Creator. The same applies with the Big Bang. Big Bang would have not lead to formation of galaxies in such a well-balanced way unless there was someone who controlled the whole incident. Thus the argument simply leads to presence of an entity that supervises all phenomena after originating them and does not leave them uncontrolled. We humans are proud to be a unique creation in the universe, or, at least on Earth. So the one who originated us, will not leave us alone, uncontrolled, unsupervised and unguided, should he? But if he exists, then what are his reasons to create us? He says. And we created not the heavens and the earth, and all that is between them, in play. We created them not save with truth. But most of them know not. Assuredly the day of decision is the term of all of them, a day when friend can and not avail friend, nor can they be helped. Quran 44, 38-41 Should we pass this life off in mere conjectures?